Hey beautiful people, it is your girl T and I am back to do part two of my coloring book stash. So for this video, I will be doing all of my books in the B's and C's. So sit back and enjoy because we got quite a bit to go through. <laughs> all right, so we have the bicycle coloring book, Journey to the Edge of the World by Shan, sorry, Shan Zhang. Um, this is uh, one of the earliest coloring books where I started kind of getting into like really intricate type of um, work and like unique art. So here's a picture I, I've done in this book um, using Prismacolor and some, um, I think, Stabilo markers for the bike. So my idea for this book was to color all the bikes pink, a shade of pink. So just to show you a few pictures in this book. Um, every picture will have this little cat. Um, we'll have a cat in there somewhere doing something. So I thought this was a really cool book. Um, and I had to get this one. It's just so unique. And I like things unique. All right. The next one is Beauty and the Beast coloring book. And this one is, um, who is this by? I think it's published by, what does that say? Silver, Silver Dolphin. Published by Silver Dolphin. Okay, I don't think I've, no, I haven't colored anything in this book. Um, I found these at Ollie's. Here we go with wallpaper. These are not my favorite. Um, but some of the images in here are pretty nice, like this one here. Um, so I pretty much got them for these pictures, um, not so much these here. So, um, this is Beauty and the Beast. Okay, I, that was only $1.99 at Ollie's. Alright, uh, next one I have is Belly Dancing, Beautiful Oriental Dancers Coloring Book by Rachel Mintz. This is a cute book. It's got different um, belly dancers in here, different kinds of different styles. I think I colored one. Maybe, maybe not. I think I did. Maybe not. So I don't think I did, but here are some other pictures in here. It's a really nice book. All right. The next one I have is a bestiary or bestiary of Tolkien. Um, this one has really great images. Um, this is another one I found at Ollie's. I'll show you guys a couple pictures in that one. I love this picture of the swans. Um, and this one was $2.99 at uh, Ollie's. Next I have Benny Blue. Grayscale Coloring Book. Sorry about the glare, you guys. Um, and that's by Christine Caron or Karen. And I'm working on a page in here. I'll show you guys right there. Um, and this is just the cutest, the cutest, 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 I think, um, grayscale book that I've seen in a long time. It is so cute. I love the bunny. And he's like in all types of situations. Um, my favorite one is this one I'll show you guys. The Batman, I think that is so cute. Um, but there you have that one. Then we have Beautiful Angels. This was Happy Mail given to me by the lovely Laura. Um, and so we have, I've not colored anything in this one yet. Then I have Belle Jardine by Peggy Jo Ackley. I've colored one in here. I colored that picture there. It's got a lot of cute pictures in it. Um, it's like gardening and recipes in here too. So if you like books like this, then um, it's a good one to get. It's got a little, it's, it's kind of intricate. So if, if you're, 
eyesight's not very good, you may not want to try that one. And then I have Beautiful Creatures, a boundless coloring book adventure, and this is by Nicole Stalker and or Stoker, I'm not sure. Um, and I did the jellyfish. It's the only one I've done in this book. That was really challenging. This is a challenging book. Um, these grayscale pictures like this, where this an actual picture, these are very challenging. Um, so um, if you get one, you get a little frustrated, I'd say stop, take a moment, and go back to it and just try to figure out, you know, how you can best color that. Next, I have Beautiful Birds and Treetop Cre Treasure, sorry, by Millie Murata. Um, this, I like birds, so of course I'm going to have bird, uh, bird books. Um, I colored this picture. It's like a wallpaper style, but it was kind of fun to color. It wasn't too bad. Okay. And I have Bold Springtime to Color by Ellery Fowler. And I think I have almost, I think I have all of her, her books. These are very, really cute books. Um, I don't know, they're, they're dainty and I, I kind of like dainty things. Like the images are kind of dainty. The lines are not too heavy. You know, this is so pretty. Um, I have not colored anything in this book yet, but spring is coming. So I might have to go ahead and pull this book out. Let's see. All right, so there you have that. Again, that was Bold Springtime to Color by Ellery Fowler. Next, I have Bless Your Heart, Favorite Southern Sayings. Um, this is so cute, you guys. <laughs> oh, I love the sayings in here. I haven't heard like many of them till I actually came to this house. So um, yeah, and the images in here are great. And a lot of times, I find that some of these books don't have really good images, but the images in this one are really, really nice. So you got Madder Than a Wet Hen, <laughs> and I colored uh, this one here, Sweating Like a Sinner in Church, <laughs> and I colored that. Um, that was so nice to color, um, and Slower Than Molasses in January, so I colored that one. Uh, I'll show you one more in here. The images are so nice. Let's see. Another nice one that I like here. Here you go. <laughs> That's dumber than a box of rocks. So there you have Bless Your Heart, a favorite Southern sayings. And I did, I think I got this one at Ollie's. I think I found this at Ollie's too. All right, and then I have Max Lucado or Lucado because of Bethlehem Christmas coloring book. Um, and this is a really nice book. I didn't color at all in this um, for this this year. This is from last year, and I did this actually in the car. You can see I used um, stickles um, in the globe there. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, um, but I didn't color at all in this this Christmas. So um, hopefully I can get to it this year this Christmas. Um, it's got some really nice images in there. All right, next we have the Beatrix Potter coloring book. Very cute images. Some wallpaper, but you know, they have to give you some pages, so they add the wallpaper in there. But other than that, there's some really cute pictures. Okay, that's Beatrix Potter coloring book. And let me see, this one is, is um, it says Warren. Uh, I guess that's the publisher um, for that one. All right. Then we have Beauty and the Beast, Color of the Classics. And this is a Waves of Color coloring book. I have not done anything in this book. Um, the lines are very intricate in this book, so if you've, again, issues with your eyes, um, you may not want to do this, get this book. Uh, I haven't done this book. I don't have issues with my eyes, but I just haven't had a chance to color this book yet. So that's Beauty and the Beast. 
um, by Waves of Color. Next, we have Bella Futura by Jennifer Zimmerman. Really cool book. Images in here are really nice. I think I've colored one in here. Wasn't too happy with it. Um, I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. Uh, there's the image. Her skin is a little bit too red. I should have um, used a different color, but hey. So everything else is good. All right, so again, that is Bella Futura by Jennifer Zimmerman. Next, we have Bizarro Land, and this is a Dan Peraro book uh, done under the Creative Haven name. Um, this book is so cool, you guys. Again, very unique images, um, and I love stuff like this. Very, very cool. Very weird. <laughs> so again, that is B Bizarro Land Coloring Book by Dan Piraro and done with Creative Haven. All right. Next we have Bursting Midnight Enchantment Mascara by Mardell Rubio. This is Spiral Bound, so people who like that, great. It is on really thick paper. Um, beautiful, beautiful images in here. Um, absolutely beautiful. And I did do one in here, I think. Somewhere in here. Find it. Oh, I can't find it right now, so. But there you have that book. Again, that's Bursting Midnight Enchantment Mascara by Mardell Rubio. And the last in the B group is Bella Italia, Coloring Europe. And this book is done by Waves of Color. Um, so my goal was to go to Italy sometime this year. Um, because I've always wanted to go and just check out all of the beautiful architecture and sculptures and art. Um, so it's just like one of those places if you're an artist that you really, you really want to go and like just see as much as you can. But this is a really cool book. Um, I haven't colored anything yet, but I think that I don't want to color it until I actually go visit because then I can... I can try to recall some of the colors that I saw there and things of that nature. All right, next we're getting to the C's. Let me pull this on over here. All right, so next we have Coloring Nature. Now I put these with the C's because it says Coloring Nature. I mean, I didn't want to go by this name here, but this is a Pictora Panoramic Fold-Out book. Um, so I'm going to, I'm not going to fold it out because they're kind of tedious, but I'm just going to show you a couple, um, let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better here. Um, I'm going to show you just a few, um, now this is going to be kind of hard to color. So more than likely I will use a uh, watercolors, um, because the, pa the paper is pretty thick and, um, I think it'll look really nice in, in this book. Okay. Oops, pull that back right. Again, that's Coloring Nature. Sorry, Coloring Nature. Then we have Coloring Dragons. And this is also a Pictura. And again, it's a fold out. I did this one. And I think I want to say I use ink tints on this. Um, but this is awesome, you guys. I love this one. Again, I'm only going to be using like water soluble uh, medium on this. And I got this for $3 at Ollie's. So I found a bunch of these at Ollie's, um, which I was pretty happy to, to find. <clears throat> and then coloring a stroll in London. This one's kind of cartoonish. Um, 
as you'll see. That's cute. Uh, I think it'd be easy coloring with markers. Even color pencils, but I think this would be a great marker, um, a marker book. All right, so that's coloring a show in London. And then I have coloring Paris. And these, okay, so let me tell you, I think this one's by Thomas Love Tomic. Yes, Thomas Love Tomic. So he did this one and, okay, yeah, he did this one. And, you know, I got it because because <laughs> he did the art in it. Because <laughs> he's an awesome um, illustrator, an artist. So um, here's the, here are the pictures. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, again, this is one I probably will watercolor. Very lovely. I love this. He's awesome. All right, and again, I found this at Ollie's for $2.99. So if you have an Ollie's in your area, you might want to go check them out. I kind of like to go every two weeks just to see if something new came um, because a lot of times they do get new things. But in, in other cases, uh, I'm not very happy because they have the same stuff over and over again. Next, we have Colorage Wilds by um, Emanuela Colling. And these images are adorable. Um, I've colored only one in this this book, but it was as a gift to a birthday gift, and I had it framed and everything. And it's I did this one, and the gifty loved it. So she has it in her home, um, you know, just hanging up there. So, um, that's Colorage Wild. Then I have Colorage Wild 2 by Emmanuel Cullen. I have not colored anything in this one yet. The images in here are also just as adorable. Just so cute. I love it. I love this. Um, very unique and very pretty. All right, next I have Charles Santore, Illustrations from Classic Tales. So this is a bunch of different tales. Uh, let me, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, a bunch of different tales. Um, I have not colored anything in this one yet. It's going to have a repeat um, of the books like The Snow White, uh, Aesop's Fables, um, the Velveteen Rabbit, uh, I think one other. But as you can see, it's almost like a grayscale, but not really because, you know, it's just drawings and the shading and the etching and the drawing that you're coloring over. All right. Next, we have, okay, this is a, this was a gifted to me a while, a couple of years ago. It was Christmas designs and it had a bunch of pages in here that I colored and kind of like hung up, gave away, things of that nature. But this is um, one of the, the pictures I did in this book um, and it was so fun. I used watercolor pencils and it was so fun and I used um, white gel pen to put the snow on them. So um, this, has some this has some really nice Christmas um, pictures in it. Um, I was really pleased with this book, um, and that's Christmas Designs Artist Coloring Book Studio Series by Peter Popper Press. Next, we have Create, sorry, <laughs> Creature Encantante, Enchanted Creatures. Um, and this is a really, really cute book. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can really see the images. Really, really nice. I don't like the paper it's on, but the pictures are so cute. And I like fairies and stuff. This is the one I did. I used um, a shimmer, like a metallic yellow um, and a metallic purple for the background. Um, so this was really fun to do. So cute. 
Um, and again, you can find this one, I believe, on Amazon, I believe. Okay. So I'm sorry. That one, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Rewind. Um, this is by Grazia Salvo. Sorry. <laughs> Just in case you're trying to keep up. All right. Um, now we have a Christmas, I'm sorry, Christmas Carol coloring book. And this is a Charles Dickens, but this is um, a double day book. Okay, coloring the classics. And I did this page. Let me zoom out. Sorry, y'all. I did this page here. Um, this is a cool book. I don't I like Charles Dickens, so I thought it was a pretty cool book to add into the stash. Okay. And that's a Christmas Carol. Next, we have Karavni Lahanasti. Please don't kill me for saying that wrong. Clara Markova book. Um, of course, her art is beautiful. This is the only page I've done in this book. Um, but paper's great. Images adorable um, these books can be pricey to get but if you you know if you save up and you have the extra money to get it you uh, might be able to find it a little cheaper if you can get it from Amazon I think I've started seeing some of these books on Amazon so if you can wait then wait for Amazon all right next I have Cinderella which is a Fabiana Atanasio book And I don't think I've colored anything in this. Um, so I'll show you guys a few pictures. Um, really cute. Really, really cute book. Yeah, they're so cute. All right, again, that is Cinderella. And by Fabiana Atanasio. Okay, next I have Saturday Night Evening Post Christmas Treasury. And this is um, a Dover book. Okay, so you, they show you these um, actual posters or paintings. I don't know. I think they're posters or magazines or covers of no, they're the Saturday Evening Post covers. And then they give you the actual pages to color. So you can use the actual cover, picture of the cover to, you know, copy or you can do it your own way. So I had ordered this um, once before and I, I got upset because the pages are coming out just like this page just came out. It's not, it's so poorly made. Um, pages just come right out. So um, this one I might go ahead and get um, spiral bound so that I can avoid that. I don't like when that happens. All right, next we have Stuart Royce's Absent Minded Art Circular. So these are, this is a book full of mandalas. Um, I like this book. I did a lot in here. Not terrible, not a whole lot, but I've done a lot. And I used um, Sharpies. Um, and just different markers um, to color these. And um, I just like the mandalas in here. I mean, they're all different kinds. And like this one's with leaves, this is a work in progress. And there's so many different ones, like hearts, you have flowers. I mean, this is like one of the coolest mandala books I've ever worked in. And again, that is Absent Minded Art, Volume 2, Circular, Circular, sorry, by Stuart Royce. All right, next we have Carousel Dreams. And this is a Yam Puff book. So cute. Okay, Yam Puff books are really cute. <clears throat> and I did her. 
She's called, um, she's Rose Prince, Rose Princess, but she's, um, unicorn themed. So, of course, I had to make it so, like, you know, cotton candy-ish and really cutesy. Um, this was so fun to do. And I used, um, glitter gel pens for the flags and some of the sparkles on the unicorns, the horses, and the carousel. So, this is really cute. Uh, I'll show you one more in here. And so that is, again, Carousel Dreams by Yampuff. Next, we have Color the Rainforest by Marty Woods. Very, very nice book. Uh, the paper is great. It's perforated for people who want to... Um, you know, rip their pages out to color them. Um, I, I like this book a whole lot. It's coloring animals, leaves. Um, and I think I did one in here. Yes, I did this one. And this was all with ink tints. This was so fun to do. The paper barely warped at all. Um, so this is a good book for water, water medium or water soluble medium. And again, that's Color the Rainforest, and that is a Marty Woods coloring book. Next, I found this at Ollie's for $1.99, The Coloring Book of Urban Sketches, 101 Cities and Scenes, edited by Christy Conlon. So basically in this book is a bunch of architectural um, buildings and cityscapes and this is something I really like to color. I have not colored anything in this book yet, but I can't wait. The paper is is pretty thick. It's not cheap paper. I don't know if you can hear it. It's better than Create Space paper. I was really shocked to find this. It's even the binding is sewn in. Um and so I mean there's it's great. This book is great. Um I just love it. I don't know if you have an Ollie's. Um, again, you might want to go check your Ollie's out. Um, some really, really cool images to color in this book. Again, the coloring book of Urban Sketches. All right, next we have Christmas Trees, a creative, creative Haven book. And this is one of the earlier books I, I got to when I first got into coloring. And when I first got into coloring, I loved using gel pens. So... Most of these trees that I colored were in gel pen. I've even ripped some out. So as you can see, 2015. <laughs> um, so these are all from 2015. Um, so this book is pretty nice. You like coloring Christmas trees. I love Christmas. So of course, I had to get a Christmas tree book. So there you have that one. All right, next we have Country Scenes Coloring Book. And this is um, also another Creative Haven book. I think I did one in here. Yes, I did one in here. Did this here. My favorite color is pink, so of course, I'm gonna have pink going on for the barns. Um, this book is pretty cool. If you like coloring country scenes, or any kind of scenery. Um, it's another great picture. All right, again, that's country scenes. Next, I have Carmel by the Sea, California's storybook town. This is my home state. Yay, I'm a Californian. Um, and Carmel is beautiful. This is by Jan Calder. And I think I've done a couple in here. This one was actually a book that I challenged myself to, to finish last year. And I didn't finish because <laughs> I had done two other books. So um, this is unfinished, but I can show you guys the pictures I did. Um, it was really fun to color. Um, I love coloring, again, architectural stuff. And so this is all up my alley. Um... So fun to color. 
So um, I'm not sure if you are into this. This is a work in progress. Um, but you might want to give this book a try. It's beautiful. I have one more in here. I'll show you guys that I colored. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did this. I did a video actually on this one. Um, you can check my video list. This is a watercolor pencil that I did with this one in. Watercolor pencils. And it buckled a lot. This is not great paper for that, but it was so fun to, to do. Okay, and that's Carmel by the Sea. All right, next I have Dover Masterwork, Color Your Own Modern Art Paintings. Okay, rendered by Muncie Hindler. Okay, so this is the only one I've done in this book. I'm very proud of it. I love, love, love modern art. Um, studied that in school. Um, it's just amazing what people were doing in the 1950s, early 1900s with art. Um, so, um, there you go. Color your own modern art. Next, I have Country Charm. And this is a Teresa Goodridge book paired with Creative Haven. And this is this was my full book. I finished this whole book. I won't flip through it. You guys can check my list of videos um, that I I completed the last year. I completed this book. The images in here are beautiful. Um, some of them I didn't like, and some I absolutely loved, like this one. Um, so. There is Country Charm. Next we have Creative Christmas. This is a Marjorie Sarnot coloring book. A little busy for me, but again, I know how to color these kind of pictures so that I'm not overwhelmed with all the busyness. All right, next we have Creative Cats coloring book. Another book. Um, this is a Marjorie Sarnot, I think. Yes. Um, so again, it's another book with a lot of patterns. Um, can be overwhelming to the eyes if you, you know, you don't like seeing all that. Um, but a, another cute book. Okay, the next one we have is Color Your Own Impressionists. Again, I'm an art lover and art student, so I love art, anything art. And I colored this one in this book. Okay, this was very fun to color. I did go to the original to use as a reference. Um, so mine looks pretty much like the original except for the water. I couldn't quite get the water right, but... Um, very, very nice book. I can't wait to get more into this one, um, because it's, 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 I don't know, I just love coloring it. Very nice book. Okay, color your own impressionist. All right, next I have another Creative Haven book, which is Circular Cities. And this is by David and Lejana Bodo or Bado. I colored one in here, but I'm not going to search for it because we have a few more books to go through in this um set and for this video. All right. Next we have Color Me Too. This is a Mary Inglebright book. Um, I have not colored anything in this book. I like it because it's cute. Very cute. Love the quotes. Okay, 
the pictures are just so cute. Okay, there you have that one. Then I got Marie Englebright's Color Me Too. I'm sorry, Color Me Christmas. And I think I've only colored one in here, which was the angels. It's a piece. Um, but again, really cute Christmas pictures. I didn't pull this one out this past Christmas either. But next Christmas, I will be coloring in my Christmas books much more. Very cute images. All right. Next, we have color my sketchbook. Um, I think this is the first one because it doesn't have a number like the other one. Um, and I did a couple in here. This was with Crayola and Vaseline. I will never do that again. I did not like um, that it smears and stuff. Uh, this has really, really cute images in it. I did this one here. If you like grayscale, you probably would like any book by Bennett Klein because they are just awesome um, images. Um, let's see if we can find another cool one in here. This one too, look at that. Very, very nice book. All right, next we have Color My Sketchbook Greatest Hits, um, Bennett Klein. Ooh, I don't like that one. <laughs> um, there's some really good ones in here. I think I colored one in here. There, yes. Colored that one. And I think one more. Yes, I colored that. That was really fun to color. All right. Next we have City Girls. Um, this is a Black River art book. It's grayscale. And I did one in here. But the images are really nice. Um, I love this. It's kind of simple. I'm going to try using um, water-soluble medium in this book. But I'm not sure. This one I achieved with using colored pencils, and it turned out really, really nice. Um, but there's some really cute images in this book. Really cute. City Girls. All right, again, City Girls by Black River Art. Next we have Cute Fairies by Jade Summer. Um, I don't think I've colored anything in this one. And it's mainly because I don't really like this paper. The, um, I don't know, I just... Create Space books, you know, they have nice images, but, and, you know, nice, a great artist on, the, you know, using that paper. And I wish sometimes that they would charge us a little more, just a little bit more for better paper. Um, but anyways, we have Chibi Girls by Jade Summer. And I've done one in this one. I'll show you that one. Is the Writer Girl. All right, and a couple pictures there. Next, we have the Color Me, Color Me series, Color Me Calm, Color Me Happy, and Color Me Stress Free. Um, I've only colored a few in, in these books. Okay. And then here's Color Me Happy. When I colored there, oh, there's another one. Another one. So these are pretty fun to color, and you can color these um, and get them done pretty fast. They're not the pictures don't take that long to color. Okay, and then I have color me stress free. And do this one with watercolor pencils. And I started this one with. Um, I think I want to say Prismacolor or something like that, or Prismacolor Scholars. And messing with watercolor here, just testing some things out. Um, but yeah, you get mandalas in here. You know, just some, you know, really 
cool things to color. All right, then we have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I guess the author is Sarah J. Mass. Um, or Moss. I'm not sure who the artist is this time. But here are some of the images. You get story or some kind of story from the uh, like I guess a piece of the story here for the picture so you can know what's going on. Very, very cool images. Very cool. Okay. Then we have Curious Creatures. Millie Murata. And this is double sided, but it's very good paper. And I don't think I've done any in this book. Okay, next we have Color Me Inspired by Christina Webb. And what's cool about this book is they have colored backgrounds for you. Some are not, some are. And so you can, you know, just color the picture and not worry about the background. I think I've done a couple in here. Try to find it. I love the braid picture. I've not done that yet. Mandala. Some dresses, really cute. It's you get a bunch of random things. And I know I colored one in here. I just can't find it. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have tagged that one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this side was colored, was already colored this way. And I tried to duplicate it, but it came out a little stronger. But this is so fun to color. I thought this was the most adorable picture. The flowers in the cone. Very, very cute. Um, but this book is really nice, you guys. Just different. Very nice. Okay. And then I have Color Odyssey, a creative uh, coloring journey by Chris Garber. And I colored this one here. There's a lot of cool pictures in here. Um, if you like coloring, like tattooish or tattoo kind of art, then you know you might like this. I love the flowers. Okay. A few more left, you guys, and we're all done with the C's. All right, we have Color at Home, a young. House Love Coloring Book by Sherry and John Peterisk. Illustrations by Joan Borowski. So again, this is interior design, coloring book, and right up my alley. So cool. And I think I did color one in this book. And I'll, I'll find that for you guys. Sorry. Very cool and very, very cool um, interior design drawings. Love it. It's one of the coolest ones I've seen so far. Very cool. Look at the ch look at the dog on the bed. So cool. This book is so cool. Right, let me try to find the picture I colored. There we go. The laundry room. So I colored that. Very fun to color. I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, I got to play around with color and, you know, how I would envision a room. And so this is really fun. All right. Again, that's Color at Home, a young house love coloring book. Then we have 
Colorage mandalas. I'll zoom in a little bit for this one. And um, I'll show you some of the pictures here. It's very beautiful pictures. So you have mandalas and they're in different, different types of mandalas. Um, I bought this through Amazon Japan um, because I didn't want to pay what uh, Etsy was trying to charge me for it. So I went through Amazon Japan and got it a lot cheaper. Very, very pretty. All right, so that's Colorage Mandalas. All right, now we have Coloring Creative Characters, edited by Tanya Jenny and Barbara Delaney. And let's see who's... This is, a, this is an Ollie's book I got for $3. Um, I really like this book <clears throat> because it's it's just a bunch of characters. Um, this is a page that I did with watercolor. Backgrounds done with, um, with soft pastel. And I have some glitter gel pens in there. You can see the shimmer a little bit. Um, but yes, this is a nice book. Just because it's different images of... You can tell it's different artists. And actually the artist names are at the bottom. So yes, different artists. Um, and I like books that give you the variety. Different things to color. Some weird, some strange. <laughs> some weird and strange again. Um, but I like that. I don't know. I just like stuff like this. Really cool. Really cool book. Um, again, that's an Ollie's, an Ollie's find. We have two more, y'all. All right. Then we have Color Me Circus by Nat Nata Ibragamov. Nata Ibragamov. This is a really cool book. Let me zoom in so you can see this a little better. Okay, so circus, circus stuff. And I don't have any circus books really, so I wanted to get this one. That was pretty cute. The paper is like a tan color, if you can tell on the edge here, the different color. Um, the paper kind of reminds me almost like Create Space, but not real. It's not. Um, this is so cool. <laughs> this is a, one of the coolest books. Um, and it's a thin book, you know, it's, it's a fun book if you like circuses. All right. And that again is Color Me Circus by Nata Ibragamov. All right. And the last one in the C group is Colors Make You Happy. Colors Make Me Happy. All right, colors make you happy. And this is another one I, I picked up from Amazon Japan. Um, I'll just show you guys a few pictures. Very cute animals and angels. Very, very cute book. Very good paper. Too. Very good paper. Look at the pigs. <laughs> this is so cute. All right, you guys. So that is it for part two, you guys. We did the B's and C's. And so part three will be even more. I don't know what letters yet, but it probably probably will be a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of the books that you've seen, you need help finding them. I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you want, if you need a link to any of the books, let me know. I can send you the link. And if you buy, if you purchase from that link, then a small portion goes to, to me to help support my channel. So until next time, y'all, take care.